These are stupidly expensive things football players own. And first up, Aubameyang spent $200,000 to be exactly like his dad? Yeah. See, Aubameyang watched his dad pull up in fully customized Audis. And Aubameyang dreamed of one day living like him. So as soon as Aubameyang went pro, he spent his entire first check on a $45,000 Audi TT. But buying one Audi, I mean, that wasn't enough. Aubameyang copied his dad two more times and spent over $200,000. A few years after the first cop, Aubameyang cashed out on another Audi. This time, a solid gold R8. But a masterpiece like this didn't get the job done. So Aubameyang recently had a brand new Audi RS7 personally dropped off at his crib. And just to make sure his Audi was worth over $200,000, he hit up his boy Yanomize to get the car fully customized. Damn, like father like son. Now raced around the streets in a 200k whip, that's cool and all, but that's literally the cheapest thing in this video. Kareem Benzema spent a quarter mil on something he can't even use. Yeah, Benzema might be the biggest flexor of all time, cause while other players buy watches and chains, Benzema's on another level of the jewelry game. And the last time Benzema hit the jeweler, he wasn't only trying to spend a couple racks. Benzema want to blow a quarter mil. This ain't just any football. Not only is it completely covered in 72,000 black and white diamonds, each diamond is over a thousand carats. No wonder why this ball cost $250,000. But come on now, Benzema really bought a football? He can't even kick. He's selfish. At least when Paul Pogba spent over 300k, it was for his teammates. During the World Cup, Pogba wanted to do a little more for his team than just help them win. So not only did he score a goal and help them win the World Cup, after they lifted the trophy, Pogba decided his entire French team deserved some special gifts. Pogba hit up one of the most legendary jewelers in Beverly Hills to design something his teammates would never forget. One of one, custom rings. Each of them are filled with diamonds, sapphires, and rubies to match the country's flag. And were also designed with each player's name, their jersey numbers, and stats from each World Cup game. Now, each ring cost over 15,000, so with Pogba having 23 teammates, these rings almost cost as much as what Erling Holland bought his teammates just because they were salty. News recently dropped that Holland is joining his dream team, Man City. And cuz Holland's been a Man City fan his entire life, the move wasn't personal. But just cause he didn't want to leave his squad on bad terms, he copped them $500,000 presents. Not only did he buy each of his 33 teammates custom Rolexes that cost $15,000 each, he also bought all of his old club staff members custom Omega watches for $7,000 each. Damn, look at Holland and Pogba, man. How do you putting their teams first? Well, spending thousands, that's nothing to my boy Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Cause he spent over a million dollars for his own birthdays? Yeah, in Zlatan's life, there's three things that are guaranteed. One, death. Two, taxes. And three, every single one of his birthdays, he cops a stupidly expensive whip. Over the last three years, Zlatan's made sure his birthdays go down in history. On his 38th, Zlatan copped himself a whip straight out of Forza, a Ferrari Monza SP2. But the very next year, on his 39th birthday, Zlatan made a trade. Dude really went from horses to Porsches. This time, buying himself a car to match his Milan jersey, a Porsche 911 Targa. But we all know the Zlat, man. Two cars could never be enough. So when he hit the big 4-0, he let the world know he goes both ways. Yeah, he posted a pic on Instagram of his new purchase, a golden Ferrari SP90 Straight Ale. This thing has a thousand horsepower, goes zero to 60 in 2.5 seconds, and is half electric. No wonder why this one car cost lots on over 500K, which brought his birthday expenses to over a million dollars. But listen, I'm tired of talking about hundreds of racks and, you know, a million. Let's take things to a whole new level. Cristiano Ronaldo. Cause he spent over a million dollars to wear his car? Yeah. 
See, if you know anything about Ronaldo, it's either his legendary skills or the fact that dude literally has not one, not two, but three Bugattis. And not only do those cars cost millions, Ronaldo spent just as much to wear one of his Bugattis on his wrist? Yeah, Ronaldo's Bugatti watch is the only one in the entire world. It's covered in titanium and champagne gold and iced with baguette diamonds, black sapphires and just so you know it's Ronaldo's watch it not only has his CR7 logo it was designed to look exactly like his Bugatti Chiron's engine just look at this no wonder why the watch cost him 1.5 million but at least Ronaldo can wear his purchase cuz Neymar's been convincing his teammates to spend millions on things not even in our universe everything started when PSG secured a deal with crypto to help the club launch exclusive NFTs. And Neymar was like most of us, thinking, what the hell is an NFT? Well, once he learned that the world was getting rich off him, he just had to get in on the action. And in January, Neymar made his first purchase, a bored ape. When he announced on Twitter that he was officially an ape, the world went crazy. Cause this ain't just any picture. It cost Neymar $481,000. And yet, that ain't even his craziest purchase in the metaverse. Not long after, the world found out he bought an even rarer ape, this time costing him $570,000 just for a picture. Man, on two NFTs, that's over a million dollars. And that ain't even everything in his portfolio. So Neymar's teammates heard about his crypto shopping sprees and had to find out what's good. But none of them were more curious than Marco Verratti when he heard Neymar was putting his money into another world. The first thing he thought was, bro, how are you gonna pay a million dollars for profile pictures, but you ain't gonna subscribe to Kickflix? It's free. Don't be like Neymar, man. Subscribe. But Marco also realized there's a lot more than NFTs in the metaverse. Cities, clubs, concerts. Marco said, fuck it. I'm trying to live there. So we hit up a real estate agent and cop something worth triple the amount of anything Neymar owns. Yeah. Marco really bought himself a mansion with a hell pad on his own private island in the metaverse like bruh that's a nicer place than his crib in real life no wonder why it cost over two million but that ain't crazier than what his teammate mbappe owns because he spent three million dollars to accomplish his childhood dream mbappe not only grew up in paris france he dreamed of both playing for his home country and living there. So once he was dealt to PSG on a $188 million transfer, it was nothing for Mbappe to blow a couple M's and turn his dreams into reality. Mbappe's crib is located right in the center of a Paris shopping district. It has three bedrooms, floor to ceiling windows with views of the entire city. Wait a minute, is that? Yeah, dude can really see the Eiffel Tower from his bedroom. That's why this crib cost over three million. And now I see why Mbappe never headed to real all Madrid. I wouldn't want to leave a crib like this either. Unless we're talking about living near Gareth Bale. Cause he spent millions on his secret talent. Most people expect Bale to be behind the scenes practicing free kicks, but he'd actually been perfecting his swing and his tee hits. So recently when Bale copped a mansion, that wasn't even the expensive part. He literally fell so in love with golf, he really had the land around his house completely revamped with replicas of the most iconic golf courses in the entire world. Just look at this. It cost him over two million, but Bale's golf obsession didn't stop there. He wanted his entire city to get a taste of the game and knowing not everybody could just pull up to his crib and start hitting dingers in his backyard bale spent even more money to open up a place for everybody this 23,000 square foot building has three mini golf courses neon lights is gambling themed it's even got a bar and a restaurant this was the first par 59 that bale opened but he plans on turning it into a worldwide empire and spread his golf turn up spot all over the the UK and Dubai. But how will Bale get from country to country? Well, his boy David Beckham definitely has him covered because he can float on a $6 million purchase. Recently, Beckham treated himself to a little Christmas present. And this ain't just any boat. It's a super yacht. Beckham's Horizon E88 came with two suites, a kitchen, bar, and a full gym. This 94 foot long yacht's even got enough space for over 10 guests. 
So that, combined with TVs and speakers built in everywhere, it's got everything Beckham needs to throw his Miami bangers. No wonder why this thing cost over six million. But speaking of the Miami ocean life, what Sergio Aguero bought cost more than two yachts. After Aguero spent most of his life in Manchester, he retired and wanted to escape. So he hopped on a jet and took off from the UK to one of the party capitals of the world, Miami. And as soon as Aguero got there, he fell so in love with palm trees, parties, and supercars in every street that instead of ever scheduling his flight back home, he put his crib up for sale and cop the crib there. This Miami mansion is over 12,000 square feet, has nine bedrooms, and 13 bathrooms. He could shit all day. It even has a wine cellar, a theater room, a tennis court, and a full gym. But what you didn't know was, Aguero bought this on his 34th birthday. So what better way to celebrate than with a lit ass party? Damn, a pool party, liquor, bitches. Now that's how you spend 15 million. What the? Pogba's got one final purchase we just gotta see. And this one costs two of Aguero's cribs. Yeah, my boy Pogba ain't playing. Man's really has a plane with his own logo. This thing right here's his most prized possession. A Gulfstream G280 private jet. And just look at it. This plane's huge. On the inside, it's customized with all white leather seats, can fit 10 passengers, and well, it can fly over 500 miles an hour. But you know, being up in the air, it really gives you time to think. And you want to know what I'm thinking about? What well, Lionel Messi's been buying. $5 million statues. $35 million cars. A $200 million theme park. We just gotta pull up. So just click this video right here.